Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. And in today's video, um, we're gonna be having a look at how I unlocked the new BR skin inside of Call of Duty Mobile in basically one day, if you're counting like 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Um, but yeah, um, I did grind a lot that day, um, but it definitely was worth it because this skin is super, super nice. But basically in this video, um, I'm just gonna be going over, you know, um, how to get the skin, um, how to play the new road Alcatraz, um, weapon loadouts, you know, for the crates and stuff. And then I'm going to be going over a whole lot of uh, BR tips that a lot of pros use, not just in Call of Duty Mobile, but in other games as well. Alright, so as you can see, we just got Masters 3 in Battle Royale. So basically, once you get Master 3, all you have to do is go into your inbox. And as you can see, we get Ted, where to, sir? I think this is a really, really cool skin. And it definitely doesn't look like a free-to-play skin, but I'll take it. Alright, so if we head into our loadout here for Battle Royale, as you can see, I have a Ted, where to, sir? skin. Looking, uh, looking pretty snazzy over here. Uh, for my class, I actually use Defender in normal Battle Royale, um, but since we're talking about Alcatraz in this video, it really, like, most of the time you don't get to pick that much, um, but if it was normal Battle Royale and I got, just got to pick my class with the bat, I'd either use, either use uh, Medic or Defender. If we head into the custom loadout, so this is basically for the crates. Uh, for the, I've got an HE40 with an OWC Marksman. And it's also got an RTC ready stock, uh, steady stock, sorry, for ADS bullets read accuracy, flinch stability, lateral recall stability. We've also got an OWC laser tactical for ADS speed and ADS bullet spread accuracy. Um, I've got a 45 round extended uh, fast reload, sorry. And um, yeah, that's just for more ammo. And then finally, we've got a stipple grip tape for ADS speed and sprint device speed. HG40 is actually really, really nice inside of BR now. Um, so I definitely say that's probably the best SMG. But I do think the AK47 is the best gun inside of the whole of BR. So this is basically um, my loadout over here. I've got an ODLC light compensator for vertical and uh, vertical rear control and uh, lateral recoil control. Um, as you can see, long shot, all that type of good stuff. Uh, got a strike for vertical recoil control and ADS bullet spread accuracy. And then we've got an extended mag A. And um, yeah, that's basically the AK-47. This is my preferred class, but you can make so many classes with the AK. And it's easily the best gun inside of BR. It, it just does so much damage. Um, and it's got some really good range. We also have the AK-117 over here. I've got an OWC Marksman, bullet spread accuracy, damage at range, and lateral recoil stability. RTC steady stock for Eddie's bullet spread accuracy, flinch stability, lateral recoil stability. Um, if we move on, we've got an OWC laser tactical for ADS speed and ADS bullet spread accuracy. As you can see, I have a lot of ADS bullet spread accuracy. It's just really important when you're trying to laser people at longer ranges. Also got a 48 round extended mag. And finally, we have a stippled grip tape for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. All right, so moving on to snipers, I have an Arctic 50 over here. We've got an Assassin Short for ADS speed and movement speed. I'd overseas Skeleton uh, Stock for ADS speed and movement speed. This class is mostly just for ADS speed, um, but I feel like it's a little bit more suited towards like multiplayer uh, play styles. But if you're a bit more of a laser at longer ranges, you might just want to get, you know, ADS bullet speed accuracy and uh, rear core control type of attachments. Um, I feel like that would be much, much um, more useful for long range BR kind of plays. And basically for our last loadout, we have a chopper. Uh, I've got an OWC light compensator uh, for vertical recoil control um, and lateral recoil stability. And we've also got a chopper heavy for ADS bullet speed accuracy, damage at range and lateral recoil stability. For the next attachment, um, we have an OWC laser tactical for ADS speed and ADS bullet spread accuracy. Um, and yeah, definitely needs the ADS speed because um, it is an LMG. Also have a heavy handle for vertical recoil control and uh, I think that's hit fire accuracy. And we've got a 120 round reload. Um, just give us a few extra bullets 
uh, I think it's pretty useful. And um, yeah, that's going to be all my loadouts for the crates. Alright, so Alcatraz was released into the game in the new Season 11 update. Basically, it is a new Battle Royale map. It, it is much smaller and um, as you can see, it's just a little island over here. Um, basically, you can't really play solos. Um, I think you can only play squads. So basically, um, you can actually respawn inside of this Battle Royale mode. And basically how this works is that if you have teammates alive and you die, um, you can actually just respawn. There's just uh, constant repeating uh, flights. So basically it just respawns you back in. It's kind of like how a person would revive you with dog tags, except you don't need to be revived with dog tags. Um, it just constantly, you know, gets you to respawn over and over again, which is really, really cool. But you definitely do need uh, at least one teammate alive for this to work and also um there is going to be a final flight towards the end so after the final flight obviously you can't respawn again all right so just for the first couple tips i'm basically just going to combine them basically what you guys want to do is use third person play with teammates preferably um squad up with them um and if you can't that's still okay and also get top control immediately when you land as you can see we're on top of the main building over here and we land in this part because there's so much cover um you can get on head glitches here you can watch stairs all that type of stuff you can watch the little buildings behind you you can escape there it's just really really useful and basically top control is very very important inside of battle royale because once you have top control you also have control over the people below you because you can watch them coming up and you can also watch them running out um, which is just really really helpful and that's basically what you want to be doing as you can see this guy got me because he got top control before me but that's okay i'm going to respawn back in and i'm going to regain my top control um as you can see i'm just sitting over here uh i know he's over here so basically i'm just gonna go back give him a little jump shot um and then just regain my top control which is really really important um also yeah and as you can see um i died again to him because he regained top control but that's okay because i'm going to be coming back my teammates are all still alive i'm making sure that's the case before i do anything risky come back i take back my top control um i go ahead and kill him again and yeah that, that's just maintaining co-op control as you can see um while i kill people i normally do jump shotting so jump shotting is very very um important inside of battle royale because um slide peeking and all that type of stuff isn't as useful um just because sliding is kind of nerfed inside of battle royale and also by the way hip fire is very very nice inside of battle royale so if you can just jump shot hip fire um you can literally kill anyone at close range but you can also scope in like i did here uh, but sometimes it might be a little bit more challenging to do so basically you just want to be jump shotting you can be strafing drop shotting any of that but don't do any like uh major slide peaks just doesn't really work as you can see the jump shotting is just absolutely broken dude couldn't even hit a single shot of me um but yeah as you can see we're just going to come in here also just another tip don't take fights with a lot of people so i ran away immediately from that as soon as i saw other people and i just take i just took the fights um individually as you can see over here jump shotting once again literally just absolutely destroyed um couldn't get a single shot of me okay so another tip is to stay around the edge of the zone so you don't really want to be in the middle of the zone because in this game mode people it's super fast paced and it's really really risky and you don't want to be in the middle basically if you rotate around the outside um, you won't really have to worry that much about things going on behind you. Um, you, you mostly have to focus on what's in front of you. Um, and you sometimes do have to focus on behind you, but that's not really that big of an issue. But once you're in the middle, you have to worry about a 360 meter radius of people just completely surrounding you and being able to attack you from any position. Um, and even if you're in cover, that's just the 180 position that, and you can still be attacked from there. So being in the middle of the zone is a really, really bad tactic. You always want to be somewhere that's close to the edge of the zone. Um, that's, you know, that's definitely got cover. Places you can run to, places that you can hide to, all that type of good stuff. 
And also, um, you just wanna make sure that you can utilize your surroundings as much as possible. As you can see here, I'm using third person just to see, I'm not killing this guy yet. I'm just waiting to see if any of his teammates are coming to get him, because uh, if they try and rev him, then I can finish off their teammates as well. Obviously they didn't come, um, but I'm still gonna be using third person just to make sure that nobody else is coming. Um, because if they do, then I'd easily be able to finish them off and get some extra kills and ensure my own survival. Okay, so the next tip is using the map. So basically, you don't even have to use headphones that much in BR anymore because all you, you can see everyone just on the map. You can see footsteps, you can see directions in which they're coming from. Um, you can see uh, where, the gun, where the gunshots are coming from as well on the map. So it's really, really important. As you can see over there, um, the only reason I was to be able to wipe out all three of them was because of the map. Because I was looking where all of them were, where they were coming from. That's my teammate. <laughs> but yeah, I was just looking where all of them were um, and just lasering them basically. It's basically having a UAV. Uh, and it's really, really useful. And if you can use your map properly, then it is definitely a really, really great uh really great resource okay so just another tip when you're uh respawning you want to head to around the edge of the map and you definitely want to head to cover as well preferably preferably top control and also you want to be close to one of your teammates all right so this video is going pretty long so i'm just going to give a uh, final few tips so basically um you don't want to go for airdrops unless you're completely sure that no one is guarding it because i see people doing this all the time and a lot of people actually do guard like religiously guard um the airdrop so don't go for them unless you know that no one's watching it um also in once you're after the final flight so once you can't respawn again play very very passive and stick close to your teammates and also um especially in the final zones make sure to use smokes to move in the open so you don't get lasered when you're just running across um the open but yeah that's going to be the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know in the comment section below if there's anything i missed and i will see you guys in the next one Cheers.